my channel welcome back to another vlog so today is Saturday and I have not vlogged all week I'm not gonna lie this week was just kind of like a very hectic week because I had a lot to do had a lot to get done so needless to say I had to kind of get back into the swing of things I guess um, I am out at the trail I'm having a cup of coffee found this coffee shop called the coffee trailer I really like supporting local businesses coffee shops that is so I'm happy that I found it online I got up this morning kind of eased into my morning and um, took my time my hip was bothering me this morning and I know exactly what it is while I was in North Carolina I was eating a lot of foods that I don't normally eat and because I can't like pinpoint the ingredients, I'm just gonna chalk it up to like things that I was eating that I know I should not be eating. And my hip was bothering me this morning and my shoulder and my neck is now giving me problems. So long story short, girl, we're gonna be detoxing this week. We're gonna be, you know, getting ourselves back into the routine. When your body aches or you start experiencing pain in your body, it's very important that you know what you're consuming because you're able to pinpoint or narrow down what the issue may be. So long story short, I will not be eating that anytime soon. So yeah, I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy my cup of coffee and uh, take in the scenery. It's nice. It's a cool morning. It's quiet. There's some people out running and riding their bikes, but for the most part, it's a very chill, you know, chill spot. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy our coffee and I will check in with the babes a little later on. Peace for now. I just came out of Zara and I picked up a few things. I got a green set and also picked up a white dress. I'm gonna actually wear the white dress a little later on. Super cute, it's a drop waist. I'll show you before we head out. But um, yeah, while I was in the Zara, I noticed something very interesting and I want to share with you all. So just to throw a disclaimer out there, by no means am I talking about people that work in retail. I am simply sharing my experience as someone who has worked in retail three times. Um, I am very proud of every job that I've ever had, including those three jobs. But this is for the people who work in retail and retail may not be for you. So a little backstory. I'm in the Zara. I'm standing in line. I'm next up. Now, the person that I know that's going to end up ringing me up, I've been observing her the entire time I've been in line. And she's moving very slow. She's like taking her time, which I don't mind because I don't feel like, you know, when you're at work, you should have to rush. But I do think that you have to put some pep in your step, okay? So her manager, I'm assuming that was her manager, was talking to her and she was talking to her manager about, you know, taking a break and, you know, being a little overwhelmed and that the line was just like growing. It wouldn't stop, like people wouldn't stop coming. And I noticed next to her, she had like this huge pile of clothes. And so she mentioned, she was like, I got to put all these clothes back. So it's time for me to walk up and I'm standing, I'm literally standing, waiting for her to say, come on up. So I ask, are you open? She said, oh yeah, I'm open. So I walk up, I lay my things down. And so I asked her one more time because 
like girl i'm ready to, i'm ready to get out of here so like are you open or do i need to wait for the next register she was like oh no i'm open i'm just trying to sort some sort some things out so i'm like okay that's fine she's ringing me up and i'm noticing that she is like moving like a snail and i'm like you know and here's the thing like i said you should not rush when you're at work always take your time because if you rush you can you know mistakes happen right so in order to avoid mistakes it is good for you to take your time and ring your customers out properly but she's moving slow and i'm like everybody is not meant for retail everybody is not meant for retail now here's the thing i've worked retail three times in my life right i worked retail when i was in high school for two years then when i first relocated to the dmv area i worked retail i worked at old navy and then during the pandemic, once stores started opening up, a lot of retailers were hiring. I worked at DSW for like, I would say, I think I worked at DSW for like three weeks. I'm not even gonna lie. That's a, that's a story for a whole nother day. But I worked at DSW too. And my retail jobs have actually been some of the best jobs that I've ever had in my life. I actually love working retail. The only reason why I haven't went back to working retail is because for one, through the week, I'm just so busy. My career is very, I have a lot of demands. And on the weekends, like that's my time to like breathe. <laughs> and then also I do other things on the weekend too, but I actually really enjoy retail. But retail is not for every person. Everybody is not cut out for retail and I don't know if this is meant for someone who's watching this video, but if you are someone who works at, you know, a grocery store or you're working at a clothing store, if you feel that that environment is just not for you, you might need to start looking at other avenues. Because when you work retail, whether you work in a clothing store, if you work at like a home goods, a grocery store, it's always going to be fast paced because that is that's the environment that you're in. I can't recall one time going into like a Zara and the pace is slow. Maybe when they open and when they close. But most of the time when I go in Zara or through the week, through the week might be a little slower. But on the weekends, girl, Zara is popping. Do you hear me? So if you are, you know, someone that, you know, prefers like a slow pace, I recommend whenever you're doing your interviews at retail stores, you know, ask questions like, you know, what is the pace or not pace, but what is the um, the customer traffic? Like, do you all have heavy traffic on the weekends? Do you have heavy traffic through the week? When are your busy hours? Best practices for being successful in a store that does have heavy foot traffic? Like, those are the types of questions that you have to ask because... I know that people need, I know people need jobs. I know employment is something that's really big right now, but there are a lot of other places that are hiring. There are a lot of food restaurants that are hiring. A lot of companies are hiring. And I just feel like you have to find, you know, where you fit. You know what I mean? You have to figure out where you fit. And if you need a job, then girl, you gotta do what you gotta do. However, if you have some flexibility, I suggest, you know taking different routes to get money because retail is not for everybody it's it's really not for everybody and that's that's no shade this is coming from someone who actually enjoys retail and it might be because i like clothes and shoes maybe that's why i've always loved it but it's not for everybody it's not and i hope my mom don't hurt me or kill me for telling this story but my mom years ago when i was in high school she had left her full-time job. My mom used to work, um, well, I'm not gonna tell you where she used to work, but she, my mother had a full-time job. And when my grandmother got sick, my mother decided to leave work so that she could take care of my grandmother. So fast forward, um, my mom wanted to get a job. I don't, I think my grandmother, had my grandmother passed? I think my grandmother had passed. Yeah, my grandmother had passed and my mom wanted to get back into the workforce. And so my mother was used to having like a Monday through Friday job. She knew that she wouldn't be able to go back to her company because for one, the company that she was working at was in another city and that just wasn't realistic. So she decided to get a job at Cookout. So if you're not familiar with Cookout, Cookout is a fast food restaurant. And because of 
the uh, position that they were hiring, her hours were going to be like midnight. It would be like 10 until like two or something like that. Cause cookout stays open through, through the night. So her hours were like really shaky. And my mom went, she did her shift. She went to her, her shift and cookout, like I said, is a fast food restaurant, but they have a lot of young people, like people at that time that were around my age. And my mother was in the kitchen. She had on her the shoes that she had to wear. Cookout is has very slippery floors, so you have to wear the the no slip shoes or something like that. And she said that when she was doing her shift, she like she was bending down, she was up, she was moving, she was up. It was fast paced because Cookout is a fast paced restaurant. Long story short, my mom worked there for half a day. She did not go back to Cookout, nor did she go and collect her check. Okay, so she realized very, like, even though my mother wanted to get back into the workforce, even though she knew that she wanted to collect a check or she needed to collect a check, homegirl was like, nope, this is not for me. I will not be back. And my mother ended up finding a job later on that was slow paced, that was more her speed because I think she realized I am too old for this. Like, this is not for me. So, so I say all that to say this, sometimes you got to throw in the towel and you just got to find the job that works for you because not everything is for everybody, even if that place is where you get your job. So it's okay. It's okay to leave that job if it's no longer serving you or if it's just not for you, if you're not a good fit. This morning was a very eventful morning. I feel like I look too light. Okay, that's great. Um, yeah, this morning was eventful. Let me just wait until after because I don't wanna feel like I'm screaming. You know what I mean? Like I was saying, this morning was very eventful. We got up this morning and we did, I wanna say four, maybe four and a half miles this morning. Um, we got on the trail, we, we tried this new trail and it was really nice. We got up to a certain point, we stopped. And then once we got back home, we decided to come to breakfast. This is one of our favorite breakfast spots that we like to come to and it sits right off um, the water. So it's a, mar a marina here. So yeah, we're just sitting here watching the boats and stuff. And um, I'm not gonna lie, every time we come out here and I see the boats, I'm just like, can y'all take me with you? Like, may I be a passenger on your boat? Because I feel like boating life is something I'm very much interested in. And I think hubby is too. Actually, he's the one who got me into it. But he's, we're very much into like, checking out this boat in life. You know what I mean? So I don't know. If, if it is something that we do, of course, we will share it with you all after we've already done it. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the future holds. Anything's possible. Anything's possible. But it's such a beautiful day. It's warm out. It's a lot warmer than it has been in the last few days. I feel like Friday was a very cool day. Um, but there's a nice breeze coming through. It's kind of hot though, not gonna lie. But it's nice, everybody's on their boats, people are like 
prepping their stuff. They're getting their coolers ready. And they're getting ready to take off. It's so cool. I think it's I think that's a yacht over there, right, honey? Mm -hmm. That's a yacht right there. Yeah, it's a yacht over there. Hubby just put up the umbrella. Honey, what about me? You want to come over? Now it's gone dark. But, yep, I think we're going to just sit here for a little bit, gather our thoughts, and then we're going to continue our day. We'll probably go back home after this because it's a lot. It's hot. And we've been out, like, all morning. And so now I'm just ready to, like, go in and stay in. So, yeah, that's probably what we'll do. But we'll sit here probably for a little bit more. And then we'll get ready to go. So, I will check in with you babes a little later on. Peace for now.